Hi, I'm Barry John, and welcome back to Let's Play Mech Commander Gold Desperate Measures. With me today is a special guest star, and I'll let him introduce himself. G'day guys, this is the Staff Sarge, aka Pangod556, uh, back for the first time in the expansion. I'm looking forward yep. to it. Welcome to the party. And a little treat for halfway point of the mission, give or take, but... A random man dog out of nowhere. Already. Yep. But let's Wait, just pull these vehicles first. Good old bulldogs. Yeah. I really, I really like the bulldog, to be honest. It's not a bad vehicle, but Mech Commander just hates vehicles. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's part of the game engine. The fact that the reason why vehicle mechs are so good is that they're less likely to, you know, take one hit and just die. Mm-hmm. That's just how the engine works. Yep, and climbing up to the top of this mountain gives me a big, huge view of the entire map. I'm sure that mine layer tank won't be in any way relevant to this uh, to this mission. No, of course not. Why would the clans use mines? They are dishonorable. No way, we're talking about Smoke Jaguar, aren't we? Shit. Yeah. But we're talking about a guy that even the Smoke Jaguar thought was dishonorable scum. That's an impressive feat. But put the side tab away so I can get a good long shot on the Manticore. But man, that X Pulse laser has got such a sweet sound to it. Yeah, there's always there's always one weapon in a game that you just you bring just because of the the look the or effect? the sound. The, yeah. yeah, the look or, the look or the sound. There's a, there's a couple of them. I know in um I'm allowed, I'm actually allowed to talk about it kind of. MechWarrior Online. This is Baron. I've got a sensor track. Well, go ahead, talk about it if you want. I won't say I won't say much about it because I'm not too sure about the whole legal thing, even though everyone says it's bullshit. But the pulse lasers in that sound fantastic. Oh, and the bane of my existence. Especially because you decide to tell half your company to run towards it. That too. Oh look, and you're going to do it again, aren't you? No, I'm just going to have somebody run through a minefield instead. Well, them's the brakes. Yeah. And now, mine sweeping the hard way, the slow way. The way where people try to walk onto the tile that may or may not have mines on it. Baron, here. Sensors have a new contact. Baron stop. Stop. What, his... <sighs> or maybe there are no... <sighs> Well, I mean, he's... He's a Fares. blue blood. Wait, yeah. how did you not trip them? What? I think you have to hit closer to the center of the tile to trigger the mines. If you walk onto the edge, it's not going to trigger the mines right away. Ah, that makes sense. But let's knock on the front door of the first base here. With the best way. If only you had an awesome. Uh, awesomes are sorry. the best door knockers. Yeah, true. Although I suppose Atlases could be just as awesome for knocking on doors, but with, you know, big hands and all. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. <laughs> there was a door! Not anymore. Yeah, I don't think I can make that joke in this one. Nah. Damn, there's sure a lot of vehicles up in this one. Fair few LRM carriers. Mm -hmm. uh, so completely not paying attention at all during the briefing, because that's for suckers. What was the what was the objective for this mission? I'm supposed to capture two out of the three clan command centers, and capture two of the uh, of the special cargo containers in the central base. Uh, lost tech bunkers. And try to get out with as much swag as possible. Well, so far you just have the one cargo container, so... Well, that one isn't a objective cargo container. It's just, you know, clan stuff. No, all clan stuff's good stuff. Uh, not always. Why are you guys wandering around inside an own minefield? It, that I, I'm thinking about what the logical reasoning would be for such a maneuver, and I got nothing. 
Unless they're, you know, trying to stay on the known exploded mines. In which case, what the hell was Scarab doing? Uh, Scarab is headed back because I have a special plan for him. For no, no, second, no, no, for the... not, not the order you gave him, but the fact that he decided to take it the long way around. It's like, hey, there's an unexploded, there's an exploded mine area which is completely safe. I'm going to take a, I'm just going to take a wide path around it. Oh, damned AI. It'd be it would be somewhat hilarious if it was actually related to their overall piloting skill. Actually, I think it does. Uh, a person's piloting skill huh. does affect their pathfinding. So piloting affects uh, their ability to stay upright, their how fast they can get back upright, and their ability to understand that point A to point B should be a straight line. Straight-ish line, but yeah. Well, yeah. If we're not talking about a straight line, then we're talking about the Coriolis effect, which just confuses me. Fair enough. But now I'm just finding a place to jump to here, and... Good, Scarab didn't fall on his ass. Or his face. Oh, either My one's fine. What do you mean your path is blocked? Just... jump over that. Like that. Alright, now he's gonna wait over there while I set up my other half of this particular uh, base assault. I gotta say, this is surprisingly similar to how I actually, how I run it. Wait, or do I come through the back way? No, I just, no I do, I go through the front like what you're doing. Yep. But first let's just blow up this manticore. Just cause. And there's a shadow cat on the defense. Alright, first mech combat. Which I have every intention of avoiding. Those two oh. are the capture points I have to take. But just back this guy up a little bit so he doesn't trigger the Shadow Cat's radius. Let him run away. That thing's that seems still rigged out with the um Prime Shadow Cat is a Gauss rifle, isn't it? Yeah, but this in Mech Commander, the Shadow Cat is decked out with all energy weapons all the time. And let's jump in, capture the heavy turret while jumping, and jump the fuck out. Now all these That's turrets are mine. <laughs> so many AC-10s. Yep. But unfortunately they're focusing on the Bulldog to start with, but... But that's still one less AC-20. Yeah. And Scarab can jump back in. Just trying to find a spot for Scarab to jump back in. There we go, right there. You probably could have gone a, um, notice you're running a Stiletto, you probably could have gone a jump version of those. Yeah, but I didn't buy one. I, I should have, though. I mean, come on, I mean, what is it, 36 meters a second plus an insane jump range? And there goes Baron. Hey, well, Baron, okay, fair enough. Yeah, the Stiletto is stupidly mobile. But there we go. One component vault, two component vaults, and let's take care of this last shadow cat by shooting him in the back with a PPC. Come oh, on, no whammies, no whammies. Capture yeah! The and then get one Ooh, shadow, shadow cat salvaged. Cat. Yeah, with a large pulse laser to boot. Ooh. And Put arrow fours. Yeah, there's another option for taking care of all those AC turrets. Just blow up the power. That'd be the that'd be the option if you decide to hit the south base first, I'd assume. Mm -hmm. Or if you wanted to waste your airstrikes on that. But trust me, people, there's a better use for those airstrikes coming up in a couple of minutes. But right now, all I'm really doing is repairing things, capturing the north side turret and gate. It. So, I brought Thunder in the Jaeger, Spice in a Bushwhacker, Countess in a Centurion, Ronin in a Stiletto, Baron in an Uller, and Scarab in a Cougar. I'm really short on jump jets this particular mission, really. I mean, with all the mounds, you probably could do with a, um, as an alternative to having one flanker taking the turrets, having an old jump force just, you know, wreck their rearguard. 
you can do that. There's actually an option for the first base in the upper left hand corner to burn your way ar around the minefield and then go into the hills to the northwest of that base and then jump straight into the base. All right. But then the third base, the one in the southeast, that one, that one's annoying. I'm registering a new contact. Mission objective complete. And now, in theory, I could walk out of this mission if I so chose. And during a lot of my practice runs, I did because that vulture that's hanging around the upper corner there, this guy right here. The mad dog who somehow knows how your, um... He has uh, a yeah. railgun, and he will wreck okay. my shit like nothing else. Okay, the Mad Dog Config C. I know they just they rip the missile racks clean off and just put a pair of Gauss rifles on it. How the fuck do you put a navalized rail cannon on it? Uh, I would imagine it being something like shit hacks. I would imagine it being either something like, um, either a a VT, you know, the vertical tanks, which are basically Sherman's on legs. Mm -hmm. So you have the cannon just sticking out of the center torso. Or it would have to be mounted above the head, like jury rigged up there. Well, from what we've been able to, based on the background of this campaign, this was a field refit of a Star League prototype railgun onto a Clan Omnimech. And let's drop two artillery strikes on this guy just to get his attention. Could have timed that a little oh. bit better, but... I mean, that still rounds on target. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's pissed now. Yep. And he's coming, and I want him to target these auto cannon turrets first. Except at this point, I noticed he didn't fire off his rail gun. And he's pretty close to being dead, and... Railgun there, um, it's, why aren't you using your railgun? He has, and he has why munitions. The, and why did that large laser just repair itself? Uh, nano machines. Wrong, th uh, wrong uh, game type, man. Damn it. Yeah, no, wrong, wrong walking mecha. Okay, yeah. so the the uh, laser, that large laser came back to life, and that railgun is still perfect, even though it doesn't show in salvage. What? Yeah. Okay, the railgun. This is a broken piece of shit hacks, even by the def standards of BattleTech. In mech, this is the first introduction of this particular piece of equipment. The railgun doesn't get destroyed, ever. You can blow up the mech that it's in, and the railgun will be perfectly fine. You can, it can be blown out of the left torso where it's seated, seated, and if you repair the mech, you'll have your railgun functioning nice and perfectly again. And it's also the single most damaging weapon in the game, and has a uh, value inside the mech of 30 points. And Scarab fell on his face. I'm gonna work there. That you it. The only the only the only thing I can possibly think of in order to try and understand this would be to try to submit it to Science Wuna, but even that would cause her mind to break. I mean, goddamn. Yep. Wait, wait, does th that still applies to you, right? Yes. Hmm. So that when I get it, it's the bullshit hacks in my favor. Well, I mean, that's a thing. Well, it is, it is Star League tech, and... Um... Well, it, it's Star League tech. Oh, the it third has... base. The third base. How and... I hate the... Every Don't approach. worry, after, after third base is home plate. Touchdown. Wrong commentary there, man. Um, how's that? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, All right. do, you guys play, do you guys play cricket in, uh, in Canadian land? Uh, no, we have too much ice, so we play uh, curling instead. Ah, play. Besides, you're not talking about cricket, you're talking about baseball. It, it... Okay, I'll probably go over this later on after combat, because there's suddenly a Hunchback 2C in your face. Yeah, which isn't going to be in my face for much longer. 
However, it's busy falling on his face. Yeah, Scarab here is now having his own fun. I'm amazed he was able to withstand. I'm pretty sure that was direct hit from two AC20s. Yep, he got lucky. He got stupidly, epically lucky there. And the whole thing about the Cougar is that it's not a well armored mech. Yeah, but you can. It looks like it was just all armor damage, nothing. Uh, uh, nothing internal. So it was a lucky thing. But the thing about the third base is that all the approaches are covered by miss missile racks, and there's four turret control bases, and you need and each turret control covers one quarter of the base. I mean, you can always just pick and choose your approach. True, or you can destroy the uh, power generator there, but... God damn it, Low generator scared. powers. Well, I mean, did he get wounded then? Or was that wounding from earlier? Well, he's wounded now, but it's only one point, so he'll be back up and fully healthy in the next mission. And yes, let's repair the, grab the repair slot while it's under fire from all those missile racks. Yeah, your priorities aren't exactly all that straight. No. But right now I'm just figuring out, hey, why haven't I, I've captured this building, why haven't I completed the last objective yet? And then I re I've captured this building, I've captured this building, and why haven't I completed the objective yet? What am I missing? Oh wait, there's still a hunchback running around. So let's go finish that off. Well, to be fair, everyone ignores the hunchback you see. True. Right up until it's it there, but it's not face. there. And he's almost down. He's down again. Knock out. Come on. Come on. There we go. And that's the final bell. I don't know enough boxing metaphors. Fair enough. But I'm going to be repairing all my mechs. And that. Once. And we go straight to them, straw into the objective, obviously exchanging some kind of witty banter. Yes. Because I cut out like four minutes worth of me fighting the AI pathfinding to get to this complete. point. Mission successful. Yeah. But RP was actually pretty solid. That is a hell of a lot. Yep. And you actually killed an enemy pilot. Mm -hmm. But of course I did a lot of the bonus objectives as well. And Thunder goes elite! Yes, it's time to bring out... Do you have any assault mechs yet? Yeah. I just haven't used it because I haven't had a proper elite pilot. Now, there's Fury's Vulture. It doesn't have the railgun on it. But it does. Because when I start the next mission, I'm going to have the goddamned railgun. Hell yeah. Yep. Well, that was mission three. What did you think? Overall, very, very successful. Oh, trust me, that was a brilliant playthrough compared to some of my practice runs. That railgun is powerful enough to rip the arm or leg off of some of the lighter medium mechs. Oh, so that's is that the main pain point of this mission, the fact that if that guy opens up on you? Yeah, you're, the theory is that you go through all three of these bases, you're worn down, you're headed for the extraction point, and then this guy opens up with giant-ass railgun. So that would that would be effective, except for the small fact that because the um, the extraction point is revealed, you kind of see him there already. Mm -hmm. But then and on the flip side, at least that gives you a bit of warning. Yeah, and because I could see him, I could drop a, a artillery strike on him and force him to come to me rather than the other way around. Strange as may see, tens. Mm -hmm. Not that they did much work. Yeah, overall a very successful mission, and again, that's pretty much the way I tend to play that mission as well. I jump jet flanker, take the turrets, and then straight up the center. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Pain God, for joining me, and I hope to talk to you soon. Yeah, same here. It's a pleasure being here.